Okay, but that's not right, though. Like, no one... No. No. Your opinion's I trash. Dude, shut the fuck up. Shut I was just the fuck wrong, up. Can I just say my starter song? Who the fuck are you? Who are you supposed to be? Who are you supposed to be, I girl? I want to. I spent $400 what? on this fucking costume. Did I ask what you spent on this outfit, girl? Yoda, I am! Shut the fuck up, Yoda. Nobody fucking cares. God damn, I'm tired of this shit. Stop talking on YouTube. Stop being a bitch. You... Fuck it. Oh, Jesus. Okay, 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 okay. Here's a bit of a story about all the thoughts that play you so loud in my head. In my head. They say you Fandoms are something a lot of people on the internet indulge themselves in. They're an escape from reality and a way to connect with others who feel the same way about your interests. They can be artistic, creative, and expressive outlets. Myself, I'm a part of a few fandoms, but I'm not like super in any of them. These being Star Wars, Hell of a Boss, Hip Hop Twitter if that counts, X Roblox Community, Undertale, Marvel, the f f fandom I guess. Not not really with that one though. What I meant when I said I'm not super into any of them, I meant that I don't really interact with these communities unless it's with art. I'm not really involved in a fandom or community, but I still think they're a great way to make experiences. Despite that though, through the years I've always seen a lot of unwarranted hatred towards fandoms in the art of communities, like a good thing being shattered apart, whether it being cringe culture, that is gladly for the most part destroyed now, or simple stereotypes, I've always heard words along these lines. All fandoms are toxic, everyone sucks, every community is the absolute worst, fan bases are terrible, kids swarm every fandom and make it hard, why are fandoms so bad? All fandoms are toxic, all fandoms are toxic, all fandoms are toxic, all fandoms are toxic. <laughs> Hey man, she gonna be crying like this all the time. And I never really understood it. This is the type of mentality I had when I was 12. The type of shit I'd say when I didn't have full understanding of people or simply enjoying things. I used to be one of those guys who would make fun of people for being interested in certain things, whether it being a show, music, or as I said before, a fandom. I used to be one of those motherfuckers. Pretty ironic now, right? <laughs> what I'm saying is, I think people take these groups for granted. Don't get me wrong here, there can be communities full of toxic, disgusting motherfuckers. For example, I haven't met anyone tolerable who's a fan of Dream. <laughs> Well, I'm playing, but Dream does present himself as a very unlikable person, usually stemming this type of behavior from his fans. Just because it's made from a factory doesn't mean it's good, dude. But when I try to look for points behind all fandoms are toxic, I don't see much. Maybe a thread trying to determine the worst fan base. Usually the answers will be like Star Wars, with the reasoning of, Star Wars fans are always attacking each other, and can't stop asking for things and then complaining about it. Which is... Yeah, that's true. Although, they didn't complain about the Mandalorian. Corporations didn't either. They loved this motherfucker. Or the answer can be be Steven Universe because of this audience it catered to Hello, motherfucker. creating a general toxic side that like almost every single fandom in the world has or Undertale with examples of the fandom being shitty furry children or the cookie incident where a fan artist was given a cookie with needles inside because they had a different ship than the culprit or that other time where people kept sending each other death threats over loving sands this one shook me or the FNAF fandom for generally just being popular and a majority of it being kids once again the case literally just being that it's toxic sides like every other group in the world. Seriously, I didn't really see anything wrong with the FNAF fandom. Strike me if I'm incorrect, I may be totally wrong. And then, there is the Brony fandom, which I will never forgive the internet for the shit they gave My Little Pony. Those songs, fan and official alike, smacked like a motherfucker. You could make a sex playlist based off of how many smacks there were. There was no justice in the way the internet treated the My Little Pony fanbase, except for the fact that they made horror characters out of children's idols, presented these creepypastas to millions of the kids and well okay to be fair almost every fandom has characters they tried to make some type of creepypasta out of but i noted this because my little pony was literally a children's show so we all have these admissions for the worst fan base ever created but where does the stigma all fandoms are toxic come from. Virtually all fandoms are toxic once they reach a certain size. The reason is pretty simple. Fandoms are groups of thousands of people that only have a single interest in common. This means that wherever they hang out, members of that fandom will constantly be engaging with people who share their enthusiasm for the fandom's topic, but whose worldviews are opposed to their own. Uh-huh, uh-huh. This article makes a couple points which are all true. From a certain point of view. And then you have this, which you can pause to read if you wish which is also true. Or a broad statement from a video here can say something. Parts of the fanbase threatened writers, McDonald's employees, and became really exclusive and elitist. Or even a sprinkle of this. First thing on the list that seems to start everything. Moral superiority. Fans believing that just because they like this certain thing means that they are better than everyone else and anybody who doesn't like it is obviously beneath them. 
Life is a repeat cycle Sometimes I write it out And when we make mistakes We cross them out with that Sup everyone, it's Ryer. So fandoms, they are... They are a thing. Yes, they are a thing. But let me get this out of the way. I think all fandoms are toxic because they suck. W what the fuck are you doing here? When I try to understand why people can just write off all fandoms as toxic, the reasons pile up like Wall Street. Get it? Because numbers go up with stocks and, and finance. It's okay to ship any characters in a TV show or whatever else. No one should care if it's incest, age gap, unlikely, or out of character. Just let people write their fanfiction in peace. Here's why you're wrong. You're just, you're just, you're, 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 you're just wrong. Possessiveness, entitlement, and a feeling of superiority are the three main ingredients in the toxic fandom stew. Jesus Christ, no wonder Prince Philip died. In every one of the previously mentioned backlashes, the racially or sexually charged comments are mixed with personal attacks and occasionally death threats. <clears throat> yeah, you're right, but hear me out. There are many reasons why fandoms are terrible and why they have toxic sides. I'm not implying that everyone says fandoms are bad or that all fan bases are great. Neither is true in any scenario. But in life, we the best music. I have the open mindset that a lot of things suck. A lot of things we do ranging from hobbies to people to vacation to our own sanctuary. A lot of things can be disappointing, especially with people. There's a prediction that people, well, they also suck. There's bad apples in every group that's produced, but it doesn't ruin everything else. We can find enjoyment in things that others may deem as the worst. I feel like you can find positivity anywhere, and in chances where you're binded with other people just like you, it could be even better. I'm open to all types of opinions interests, or lanes, and no matter what's hot or seen as terrible, I'm gonna give it a chance. So yes, all fandoms have bad sides to them. Some can even be horrific, like Voltron and their shipping situation with the creators. Yeah, I know. I gave another example of fandoms being shitty. My bad. <laughs> But take a look here. How I look at things like this is that a group of people being brought together because of a common interest can bring a new wave of magic. You can meet people, you can throw events, and art is made in many forms, like digitally, painting, music, fan games, cosplay forums, and endless possibilities. I've met and gotten close to many of the people in my life from music communities, or even one I've considered my brother I got close to years ago because of Undertale. You can meet great people and grow a like to them from a similar interest. Just one. Myself, I was never entirely or fully involved in fandoms after 2016, but I can say, fortunately for me, I was never in a horrible situation because of one. Does this happen to people? Yes. But I believe not every person would have a negative experience being involved in a fandom. If you have, you have every reason to believe what you believe. But on Twitter, this blooms even further. People can dedicate a large part of their existence online to talking about a specific interest. The serotonin you get from discussing a favorite thing with others who share the same thought is an entirely different feeling. Not all fandoms are toxic. I'm talking about this thought not to convince you to change your opinion entirely, not to get you to join one, or not for you to write a 50 page essay on how beautiful My Little Pony is. I express my feelings on this heavily because it breaks my heart to see people turn off entire communities and write them down as nothing but toxic, useless cesspools they shouldn't be involved with, because these can be real safe spaces for people in need. The statement all fandoms are toxic is understandable. I could see why people think that way. I used to feel the same. It's all you see. When things go wrong, when a situation happens, drama occurs, a big creator fucks up, or anything of the sort, anything even slightly negative, it doesn't have to be extreme, it's reported on. Everyone is gonna report or talk about something negative in the media. Media doesn't focus on what's good, only the opposite connotation, because smiles don't sell. Yeah, listen! That's called motherfucking bars, nigga! I can't name a time I heard of something about the furry fandom in the past, well, actually, <laughs> during its entire existence that someone reported on something positive in it. I don't keep track of the community at all, but associates outside, news outlets, or anything of the sort only have shit to say. It's the same thing with any other fandom. When it comes to the furry fandom, defending it isn't an aspect I have because I'm not that informed on what's going on, but I can confidently say I've met some of the most talented people in every field of my life from this exact community. But you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe outlets do report on positive things in online communities, but I never hear about it, which is my point exactly. And when all you hear is negativity or how horrible something is, you're probably just gonna, once again, write it off as such. To me, not all fandoms are toxic. Think about the people you know. I know damn well I'm far from the only one that's met many amazing people in my life from distant communities, or creators I like, or musical interests, etc. As I said in the beginning, fandoms are something a lot of people on the internet indulge themselves in because they're an escape 
escape from reality in a way to show your interests in a way you can't anywhere else. In a world full of negativity and full of stress, it's a getaway for millions of people to come together and appreciate a work of art in their life. So we know where and why the stigma of all fandoms being toxic exists, and it's strong, but I truly believe it's not that way. I think anyone can find a piece of hope or interest in these types of communities depending on where you look. It could be a game like Undertale, Genshin, Friday Night Funkin', a big YouTuber like Markiplier, a streamer, or more. Anything. You can find something for you, and it can bring joy to many despite the toxicity inside. So yeah, I think that was pretty good. I don't think all fandoms are toxic, but everyone is free to their own thing. My open-minded standpoint can be very... Okay, okay. I get what you're saying, but in the end, all of the fandoms are toxic regardless. Did you hear a word I said, like, in the past five minutes? Oh yeah, I did. But they are still toxic no matter what. All the fandoms that have been are very toxic. Like the Rick and Morty fandom being like, Oh, you need to have a high level IQ to understand the show. And don't even get me started with the whole sh- Fuck ye, I say! Fuck you! Fuck ye! Oh sh- Ah! Ah! Jesus Christ! Oh my god! God! Ha! <laughs> Yeah, I'm telling the truth, now I'm fucking with you You keep on talking a lot, but you just ain't telling the truth Honestly, I just got two, hold up and let me recoup I just feel like an icon, my best Also, hi, if you made it to the end, uh, I made a Lego music video, you can click on it here Thank you so much, more, more, more Shut the fuck up, stop talking on YouTube, nobody cares